Yo, ho, ho. hey everybody. Hello, hello. How's it going? You going well? No? Okay, well then that's gonna fucking change. Welcome back everybody to another post-net stream. I'm sorry I missed last week. I'm not gonna explain myself. I don't owe you an explanation. Uh, what I will explain myself for, and give you an explanation for, um, is why I always lean down to talk into the mic like I even need to. You can hear me from back here, easily. I was going through my, my last stream, and you could hear me just fine. There was no issues. So, I'm gonna try and not do that, you know? And keep my head up, my chin up, my shoulders back, my chest out. I felt my back pop when I did that. I've probably been slouching too much. And I'm just gonna really, really get my forearm veins popping left and right. <laughs> This is how I'm going to stream for the next three hours. Okay, I want to I wanna feel like the climber. Of which I will be uh, embodying. So yeah, we're playing a little silly game. Called Jusant. Jusant? I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Maybe the game will say its name. When I, excuse me. When I open it. Um, no waiting. No further adieus. I'm actually out of those. Uh, so yeah, we'll just launch it and hope it runs. It's like a certified, certified indie game. So hopefully we don't have the same issue we had last week. Otherwise, okay, uh, okay. I'm glad that appears. Uh, and Docs is my personal email address. Good thing I switched scenes quick enough for that. Good holy Christ. Um. <laughs> So, I made a new Instagram account yesterday, right? Because, well, I actually won't explain why. I don't know you an explanation. Go to hell. Um, anyway, I made a new Instagram account just because I saw the name was available, so I took Evil Postnet on Instagram. Use a controller. I've been waiting for this moment. For all my life! Oh no! Hopefully it doesn't get too hot in here. Um, cause I'm wearing warm pants, but everything else is light and breezy. I don't like how this game I'm hoping is gonna be. Anyways, I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about this and they're on a year list. Good vibes, very zen. Um, and it's just, it's supposed to be simple. It's climbing, right? We're just gonna climb a big mountain. Uh, it's a, who knows? Uh, I, the only reference I have for this game is... Yeah. Woo woo woo. Thank you so much, Antiosha. Welcome to the stream. I thought I just dropped my chapstick on the ground. I didn't. Uh, it's right here. I'm gonna apply it. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Beast. Anyways, the only climbing game experience mechanics I can think of are from Uncharted. And Uncharted 4's climbing mechanics kind of rock. So hopefully these ones will too. Um, and maybe we'll maybe we'll just kind of casually open a conversation and talk about our problems our personal walls that we're trying to climb over who knows we might we might not it's up to you it's up to me it's up to it's up to the game really okay well i have a controller in my hand so why is it Do i have to like turn it on oh no that didn't Music is whimsical. It is whimsical on music. All right, maybe I can switch this in a minute. I'll use the, the mouse for now. Hello? Hello, queen. All right, let's, <laughs> I guess let's try and relaunch this and only use a controller. Maybe it's like one of those games. And by one of those games, I mean, oh shit. Don't, don't dox me again, please. Uh, by one of those games, I very specifically mean a game that I've never played. That for some reason would, once you put an input into it, decides that's what you're locked into for the rest of the game. We'll see. 
We'll see. Alright. Pump me pump me some of those whimsical ass too. I wanna hear some more of them. What the hell? Pump up the jam. Pump it up. It it said so when you launch in it says um the best experience is with a gamepad, right? I can play with mouse and keyboard, but I think it's gonna suck that way. I feel like it, the, the, the controller's the way to go, right? So, yo, Connor and Steez, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, good to see you. How are you doing? I'm assuming you're busy, can't stay long, but I am happy to see you briefly. Hello, hello. Let's see if we can figure this out. How's it going? How's your night going? That's not gonna be it. Dropping by. Thank you, Seti. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How's your night going? Or uh, rather, not even your night. How's your morning going over there? <laughs> oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. I'm going to kick my, do my dogs off. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm going to kick my shoes off momentarily while I try to figure this out. Um, is a fishing game? Dude, I wish you're very close, except you're so far away, you actually have to circle around to the other side of the uh, fishing axis, the other side of the, the, the binary. Everybody knows, you know, fishing is a sea thing. This is an air thing. We're climbing. All we're doing is climbing. This is a climbing game. Now, I need this game to tell me why it doesn't want to let me use my controller. What's up with that? <laughs> no, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. And hopefully I can actually play this without having an issue. Although so far I'm literally already running into issues, so that's great, you know. Yeah, that's probably a little better on the sound, yeah. Using a headset, I am. Quiet, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, no, so, Seti, I saw this on a bunch of YouTuber end of the year lists. And people were raving about it. It's not supposed to be hard. Um, although, so far, the biggest difficulty curve I've had so far is finding out how to play it the way it's literally telling me I should play it. I'm trying to see if it's like controlling anything else when I move this, but it's not. I love, I, I love, I love streaming, man. I love this shit. Live and breathe, baby, live and breathe. Already went through that. Controls. You wanna try my controller? Um, I mean, it's the exact same controller. I don't think it would make any difference. It's on and everything. I don't think it's a controller issue. I think it's a game issue. Yo! Territorial Seagull. Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry to report, by the way, Territorial Seagull. I do not have a brown to drink today with you. But maybe an extra. <laughs> you never know. Mm. Mountain Visions, hello. Sneaky. Always sneaky. But here, as always. And I'm very grateful. Welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome Conduit, welcome Steady. Everybody please say hello to somebody else in chat. I'm sure they'd appreciate the welcome and let's let's make everybody feel nice and warm while I figure out what the fuck's going on here. Sparker, hello. Hello Galactica Dog, hello everybody. Hello everybody, welcome back to another PostNet stream. Today we're playing a game that tells me to play with a controller, but yet... ...does not work when I use a controller. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? 
How's everybody's night going? How's how'd your day go? Tell me, tell me, guys. Let's let's kick it off with some p positivity. I think this is gonna end up being a very f philosophical. That's not the word. A very philosophical stream. Alexa, long time no see, girl. Hello, how are you doing? I want everybody to put something in chat that happened to them either today or in the last couple of days, last week, that was good and made you feel nice or accomplished or happy. Something, something good. Let's spread the love. It is okay. Work's been busy, but good. Birthday's coming up in a few days. What day? What day specifically? Because I don't remember. I don't remember anybody's birthday. I actually barely... I almost forgot my own birthday. Like, my first stream back was a day before my birthday, and then I woke up in the morning and, like, practically forgot <laughs> that morning. 25th? Dude. Live it up. You know, I say a lot of times 23 is when it really feels like it's over for you. Get the fuck out, you know? You're not young anymore. Like, welcome to being a boomer. Now that I just turned 26, dog, I don't feel like I have... I feel like I should literally be be euthanized at the vet. They Like, I should just be... I should be put to sleep, I think, at this point. I don't think there's anything left for me. I'm at a genuine loss. I'm going to Google this real quick, okay? so So stick with me. I'm locked in here. Yeah, but happy early birthday. Thank you, Sparker. I don't know why I didn't say that. Thank you for reminding me to be a good, to be a good thoughtful person. <laughs> um, this is driving me nuts. Oh my god. This is from Game Not Work. I'll just show you guys, actually. Take a look at this. Okay. Juice on gamepad not working. Steering wheel not recognized. Not ah! Seagull's life expectancy? Oh, that's a good question. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna be fucking sick. Oh. I can't believe this is happening. Oh shit. Oh shit. This can't be real. Fuck. If this is it. It could be any day now, any minute. It could be any second, it feels like. 10 years past due. Like, you are gotta be growing mold, right? If this is it, it's been real. It's been a great experience, and the stream has been better for having known you. Territorial Seagull, I just want, I just want you to know that. We do need to get on point here, so let's get off. Let's, let's stop being sentimental. All right, everybody, now we can get back to we can get back to hating seagulls generally and most most avian creatures frankly kind of annoying not a big fan <laughs> you saw it? not detecting gamepad input Okay, well, you're just complaining about the control scheme. That's not what I'm talking about. Also, not talking about lies of P. Oh, you know what it might be, though? Task manager. Do I have Steam open in the background? Because, fun fact that you guys might not know, sometimes if you have Steam open in the background while you have Game Pass games open, or you're just running Game Pass, and I don't. Okay, so that's not going to fix anything. Um, It will just break it big time. Huge style. You think dodo birds were just avian platypuses? Platypi? Platypi? I don't 
don't know. What do dodo birds look like? I'm, you guys are getting me so off track. Not dod birds. Dodo birds. These guys look like they smelled really bad. Like, they look like... Like, why is their body that big? Is it because it's constantly inflated with excess gas that they need to let out? Versus, what do platypuses actually look like? Because in my head, it's just Perry. And that's... It's got to be grosser. Yeah. This kind of looks like... This kind of looks like it's like a growth on a coral. This looks fucked up. Strange. I mean, I guess it makes sense. They are strange. They're mammals. They lay eggs. They also, like, are venomous and, like, sting. Is it venomous or poisonous? They're poisonous, right? Because venomous is if they bite you. But I think they have a stinger? Right? Yo, Apic Nick. Welcome to the stream, guys. You may... You may not recognize this person, formerly known as Oshi Vane, with a fresh rebrand. Welcome back. Everybody, please give them a warm welcome. Say hello. Welcome welcome them in. <laughs> Dodo bird. I don't know. I don't see a lot of resemblance. Although they both do look like they'd be pungent. I, so I guess that's a resemblance I can see, right? What has a stinger? Dude, platypuses. I don't know if they have a stinger, but they're like poisonous in some way. If I can spell. Poisonous or venomous? One of the world's few venomous mammals, equipped with sharp stingers on the heels of its hind feet. Like, you guys... Stop fucking doubting me. All this doubt. They... You know what? They doubted Jesus, too. And then they put him on a cross, and that's what I feel like is happening to me right now. Okay? It feels like this. I was gonna make a It's Always Sunny reference, but I don't know if you guys would get it. It's a very obscure one. Um, but I was gonna say, I'll just say, I'll throw it out there for you guys. For the for the real, for the real sunny heads. For the real Philadelphians. Um, the episode where they have the pickle party and then they get in a big argument over putting a giant crucifix up in the bar and then they finally compromise on a size and <laughs> and then they start arguing about how bloody the crucifix has to be. <laughs> You don't think platypuses should exist? When God calls all of his creatures, will platypi not join in the song? Let's have empathy, okay? Listen. I'm about to shit on you, chat, okay? Just because these guys are ugly as fuck and disgusting doesn't mean they're not worthy of life. Okay? If that were the case, a number of you would not be here right now. So relax. Understand. Anyways, how am I going to get my controller to work for this game? <laughs> you know what shouldn't join? Huh? What? The intersects the controller, but when I test it... Both in-game and in the controller settings, that's no inputs are registered. The controller in question is... I don't care about that. It's an Xbox controller. I'm not on Steam, though. I'm a believer of platypus eugenics. Pin that message. <laughs> Seagulls shouldn't join in the choir. Small white dogs with crusty eyes. See, I'd give you that, but also my parents own two small white dogs with crusty eyes. Um, and I am a big fan of those two little twerps, those little squirts, so. What are you sending me? In no way God told Noah to put two small white dogs with shit in their eyes on the ark. He didn't. You're right, actually. Do you understand? So, he put- he put two wolves on the ark. 6,000 years ago, to be specific. And then from there, the wolves... Well, they feminized the wolves, they went woke. 
<laughs> and then from there, they started getting smaller and more baby core, and that's why we started liking them. That's true. As, as a Noah, I don't believe in Noah because I think he's stealing my valor. And I think there's can only be one, and it's me, frankly. Did let's be honest, okay? Let's just let's just speak to it. How many Fortnite Victory Royale wins did Noah get? None, okay? He built a stupid arc out of stupid wood and it took him like hundreds of years. First of all, first of all, Noah did go woke. That's not, that that would that can be second of all. Going back, circling the wagon back to first of all. Look at that guy. Gross. Doesn't get any bitches, okay? He can sing in God's choir. But he's gross. Yeah, he built it out of a specific type of wood. Didn't need to do that, okay? Built it out of a composite that's cheaper and lighter. Dumbass. I don't, I don't even think he had an engineering degree or cert certification. I think, I think he forged all of his documentation. Some games don't get the Series X controller. Hooking it up via a cable makes a game think it's a normal Xbox One controller. The games that don't work are rare. I'm going to... <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. I, it's like every time I, I plan ahead, I have everything in control, and then I don't, it turns out. That's true. The, it turns out the vibes were just like being a good guy when everybody else was, I don't know. There's some people, there's some people that are actually, um, I don't wanna say this. Like I've met them personally. There's some people that believe that pre Noah's flood, they actually had technology as advanced or more advanced than we have now. And the flood was just so strong, the canopy over the earth just devastated everything so bad that it was obliterated into tiny pieces that like literally into their most basic elements, I guess. So that way there's like, there's no plastic around. <laughs> um, and so everybody was like sinning. They were cranking their hog too much or something, you know, like we discussed in the last stream. And so Noah was the only no, the only guy not cranking his hog. Which honestly, if that's the case, loser, fucking lame. Okay, but I don't have it on Steam. Controller firmware. <laughs> What if I try, what if I just try unplugging it? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you guys are entertained by this. This is like, um, this is like when you're a kid and your little brother, or maybe you were the little brother or little sister, like your sibling wants to play, so you give them the un, the unplugged in controller, the broken one that doesn't work, and like you're doing the gaming and they think they just think they're doing it, and they just don't have a controller that does anything. That's what this feels like right now. You think they had Fortnite before the Great Flood? Now that's a really good question. I'm surprised archaeologists haven't- I actually have a buddy I went to college with who's an archaeologist. He works out on the West Coast now, I think in Oregon or Washington. Um, I'll reach out to him. I'll see if I can get a definitive answer on that, because that does sound like arcane knowledge I would like to have, and that the world should have, really. Who's what, little fella? Oh, this guy? Oh, dude, that's Territorial Seagull, I think. Maybe I can just kind of get in here. Je sens. A French nautical term for a receding tide. Does that sound like a convincing French accent?
We do need Mary in here. I agree. I miss Mary. It's been too long. Like, I, I've given up. She's not coming back to stream herself. That's fine. But, like, it'd be nice if she could pop in chat say hello. That was the homie. Yo. Climate change. Maybe this is a woke game. Is that me? Sick poncha. I hope that's me. I want to look like that. Look at those sunglasses, dude. Is that your family? Dude, why didn't you ever introduce us? I feel like you're hiding from your family from the world. Like, Drake said he was doing the opposite. I wasn't hiding my kid from the world. Yeah, I was hiding the world from my kid. Yeah. That's how he would say it. If he said that out loud, I think he like tweeted that or something. Oh, this is just like Pal World. Why, did, why does he have like me, like am I, like Nintendo Wii, me eyes? Why? Why does he have those? That wasn't what I expected at all. Ooh. I bet if you fly through there, you get a speed boost. They should let you customize them. I agree. I should be able to create my own me. Oh, I've got a little guy with me? Hold on. Now we're... Now we're really pushing P. I want to get a better look at the little guy. Oh, we're about to play. Here, we're, moment of truth. I don't like this truth, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, his glasses look like Ilgak? Who's that? Oh, it's your distant cousins. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, well, let's just try it with mouse and keyboard and see how it goes, I guess. Sensitivity is insanely high, so that's not going to work. More of that, please. He, he just kind of looks like he has um, really bad eye bags. Oh! <gasps> oh! What are you guys? What are you up to? These are like those little things from Boy and the Heron. Oh! <gasps> what are they doing? Why are they doing? Maybe it's not my place to know. It's not my time. Okay. All right. Oh, dude, we're just like Link. Although even more feminine. Didn't think that was possible. Link is so girl boy core, you know what I mean? Okay. So how only upcoded is this going to be is my question. Because I didn't play that one. Yeah, he... Sorry, not he. They are. Do you think the reason Zelda will never just, like, you know, make it official, make it a thing, you know, stop denying the obvious? Oh, what was that? 
Oh, space to climb. I know that. Is because... She's, like, got a problem with non-binary and, like, gender spectrums. Oh. This feels really weird. Okay, I so I have to aim with a hand, and then I have to... I'm controlling each arm. Okay, hold... No, no, okay. All of that works. Okay. Well, that works. She's against Femboy Friday? Fuck. What do you think she thinks about Fat Cock Friday? Or Fursuit Friday? On then. B, hold to wind in the rope. Oh, it's like a vacuum cleaner. Everybody now has got them newfangled eye robot roombies, but back in my day, we had to we had to suck the cord up with a retraction device. I was hoping it would let me jump off, I'm gonna be honest, but not looking like that's going to be the case. These carabiners automatically secure the climb and show you the right path to take. Oh, cool. I thought carabiners were like those little clip things, not like a rope. Pull that, pull that back, Mr. Juson. I don't know why. What? Well, wait, no, they did explain why. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's because we're in a desert. It's because we're living in the remnants of uh, the woke. What do they say? What do they call it? The woke something. I don't know. Just put a woke joke there. You guys know what to do. You guys know the gimmick. When on the ground, V winds in the rope. Thank you for- I, I- I do- I gotta say, I do really like a game that doesn't just tell me a thing once, and then is like, you've got it, you'll remember it. I like a game that assumes I'm a dumb fucking idiot, because more- the three small icons represent secondary pitons. If they're full, they're available to use. If they're empty, they're already attached to a wall. Oh, is that the- that's the thing? Okay. I do gotta say, I think this would feel a lot better on controller. Hold to place a piton. Okay. Oh! That's not, not what we were looking for. Hold to load a jump. Oh. Didn't work. Didn't work. Uh, hey. Hey. I'm trying to climb you. Yeah, no, I'm playing. You're right. You're right. Good, good call. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm playing a hard difficulty. You're right. You're right. You're right. <gasps> Did it. What a beast, dude. What a beast. Okay, Juicent. I know that's not your name, but I'm choosing to believe it is. That's not the right way to go. Go down. Down, boy. Down, boy. Okay. Sometimes you gotta let go. So that way you can... You know, hang back on. In a better spot. Or something. 
Oh yeah, dude. Now I'm really moving. And then jump and grab. Why would I rest, dude? Why would I rest? I'm on fire. I don't need that. What? Come on. So what's the point? They didn't really seem to give us a much of a direction. Hold on, I'm getting a I'm getting a text massage. My dad made a this is a funny story. My dad made a group chat. We have a family group chat. I don't know why he didn't just text in that one. But he made a new one. To tell us that the one of the Christmas gifts he got, he was really enjoying it. And just, you know, basically to say, like, thanks. You know, whatever. And, uh, and so my little brother texted in there like 10 minutes ago and says, who is this? Which is strange because his number, I mean, it, like, it wasn't an unknown number on my thing. Said it was the correct thing, so I thought he was just being fucking stupid. Because he does that sometimes. And, um, turns out, I guess it was not. Because they left the conversation, and then my sister, I guess, added the correct number. I do I... I don't know what that's about. I'm not even gonna go see what was going on, because why climb up the back side there when I could climb up... Is this a door? What's the knock button? Knock, knock! <laughs> yeah, big, big silly billy moment. Yeah, you could say that. Dude, oh, dude, I'm becoming a... I'm becoming a beast. I think I could do this in real life. <gasps> Ooh, is this... Is this a skill upgrade? Another sleep turning over stones at the old delta. I don't think it's a skill upgrade, guys. Harvest. Two belay stations for parts. A good catch. Oh, dude, this is fishing! Sick. That should be enough to reopen the- or at least it was fishing. Should be enough to reopen the route. The old cape. Otherwise, it's all smooth sailing. A couple of old lanterns I think I can revive. Folks used to throw this stuff away. Oh. And I finally caught an old knitting machine for Ennio, who's been asking for one for cycles. Not in great shape, but we should be able to tinker with it. Still not sure how I'm going to haul it up with the low tide, though. Too low tide, though. I don't think there's a fishing minigame. God, I wish. God, I wish. Note to self, stop doing business with Rem. Not gonna, good, not gonna get good sleep if you do that. All he does is dismantle my discoveries and sell them for parts in the heights. He claims to be a repairman, but he's nothing but a foam salesman. That's what got him. Nice. Um, I think that this used to be a fishing place long ago, before climate change woke everything up. Um, I, I gotta stop making jokes like that because people are like people who aren't initiated are gonna come in here and think like I'm actually fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah, it probably was the gay agenda because if there's one thing we know about the gays. They would never go fishing. Ever. Everybody knows that. Oh. Oh god. Then I just climb down. Oh. Here we go. Oh, gotta go lower. Gotta go lower. Whee! I'm so beast mode, dude. This game's really pretty. Really pretty. So what's up with these little... Is that where I just was? Seems like it, yeah. Is this like a shortcut? Over here, nothing I guess.
Bro, this is so Dark Souls core. <laughs> oh, wait. Well, how do I get... Oh. <gasps> Don't you guys love... Don't you guys love when they just make stuff up? Don't you guys love just magic? I love magic. It's so beautiful. What's the up button again? F and what was it? R maybe? Oh, it's R. It's R for rise. Okay, so what is that? Like a checkpoint? I don't know why I would need one of those. I'm not gonna die. They like won't even let me die. Unless they unless that's like an unlockable thing later. More lore? Ooh, cutscene. He hears the ocean. Wow. Water used to be all the way up to there. Giving us puzzle pieces, it seems. Oh, wait, does it just keep doing it? Okay. <gasps> oh, Thanos. Man, ruins everything. Wait. Okay, so... My dad added the wrong brother, Blueberry. Buttlick, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hello. How's it going? Good to see you. Everybody, if you're still here, give him a warm welcome. Say hello. Before we continue, my sister says, Dad, who is that other number? Keep in mind, this number is saved as my brother's name. In my phone, too. My dad goes, I thought I put you four people in there, plus me. My sister says, you didn't add him, you added a random number. But, not on my phone either. I think I gotta have my dad's back on this one. What's good? Um, well, primarily, this game. Very zen so far. Um, what if I just don't... Oh, it auto does it. However, I couldn't get it to work with my controller for some reason. Even though it tells me to use a controller, it just would not. So I'm not able to... So I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. So, like, that could be better. Other than that, though, we're pretty good. Guys, I went to a boxing class this week for the first time ever. Who can be attached to most surfaces. Okay, but that's, like, one that I... Ooh. Guys, I've got an idea. How far down can I go here? Will I just eventually, like, die? Must be out of yarn. That's too bad. Um... Alright, dude, they're blowing up my phone now. We get it. You got a different number or something. So I went to a boxing class for the first time because I thought... I th it'd be fun. That's it. I just thought it would be fun. Also, um, I'm one of those people where when I get frustrated or angry or irritated, one of the things that really calms me down is just fucking like physically, you know, bah, bah, bah. and obviously I'm not going to put holes in the wall or damage my shit or like, you know, commit acts of violence on people. So I think it's a very good outlet for that. Felt very zen afterwards. It felt very relaxed and calm. It was a free first class. However, whoa, is this like... Is this like dry fishing village mountain Twitter? Yeek! How are things at the sawmill? Business has been slow at the restaurant. Almost no one came to the last music night, even though people are climbing down from all over. I know we don't play the shells anymore, but still. Yeah. I was thinking that adding scaffolding to the side of the upside down cliff might help steer passerby this way. I miss seeing a packed patio. Can you take care of it? Check with low tide and everyone agrees. Hey Mo, listen, these things happen. 
I hope one day you'll ask me to do something besides taking boats apart to make ladders. Like if I'm free for a romantic dinner for two. Oh. oh. Anyways, all good for your scaffolding since the village approves. I don't have much wood to choose from after that new path to the plane I had to build. But I still have a wreck or two left over. I'll get to it when the currents allow. This is so video game core to have like a shop that's so far out of the way that nobody would ever reasonably get to it except like the main character who is going on a heroic journey. <laughs> They're like, we got to get some more customers in here somehow. Otherwise, ugh, landlord just raised our rent. We won't survive here. I owe you one. Thanks. You're the best. By the way, you ever run into old Sanja? I think she's rummaging around in the area right now. You see her around. Do you mind telling her I need a new hob for my oven? Mine's taking on water. In the meantime, set sail for the restaurant. I'm not sure how romantic. I'm not sure how romantic it will be. We can always share a half-cooked meal. Okay. Okay. I like I like the world building so far. It d it does seem like a cute place in the before time, before COVID ravaged it. Oh, that's what I just read. Okay. All right. So we weren't missing anything, but some. Wait. Maybe we were. I can climb that. Get your goddamn hands out of your ass. Maybe I go like this. It's it. I'll check, but I'm pretty sure they said half cooked. Okay, well now I can't check. Oh, because I'm hitting caps lock over and over again. Stupid. No, dude, but we can always share a half-cooked meal. Yeah, they're only cooking it halfway. That's probably what wiped them out, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, we do love cooking chick- Yeah, this is- it, it wasn't- Okay, so it wasn't COVID. That wasn't there before times. It was salmonella. It was raw chicken. Actually, there is seafood, so- Well, no, you don't even have to always cook seafood. Come on. <gasps> I did it. That felt like a sequence break. It felt like maybe that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> but, uh, but I'll take it. I'm becoming a speedrunner, guys. What do you think? Did you guys see me running Jusant in, uh... I can put this here, and then I can drop down. Ooh, okay. Schwanky. Did you guys catch me in the most recent AGDQ? Okay, this seems like maybe it was pointless. Unless I can... Okay, well let's... Give me a little line here. Not a fishing reference. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Whatever. D I'm over it. <laughs> what does that sound? Hearing sounds, guys. Hearing. I, mean, I don't know. It's probably nothing. Probably nothing. All right. The blueberry butt lick. How's it going? What brings you to the stream today? I play every game so goddamn slow. I looked at the how long to beat thing. And oh, they're back. Wait, shut up. Shut up, postnet. No, more, 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 more. <gasps> yeah, oh, yay. Oh, that must be the thing from earlier. Okay. Antho, what's good? Thank you for being here. Let's fucking go. Happy to see you. Do you guys think I can make this? Do you think this will work? Oh, never mind. <laughs> the game won't let me. For a climbing game, they sure don't really let you, uh, climb very fre frequently, freely. I, th I thought this was a country based on freedom, guys.
All right, so if I just... Oh, do I gotta... I'm not doing... I'm... I don't need to place a pitten. A python. Any real any real climb heads in chat that can tell me what's going on? Oops, oops. Oops, oops. Pitten. Titan. <gasps> it wasn't until I started my shift to prepare for the crossing that I realized. It's my last crossing supply from Aurelia. After that, folks have to make do with what they have. What I wouldn't give for things to go back to the way they were. Seeing smiles on people's faces, no masks, the little ones climbing the cliffs, diving into the waves, and us water fishers learning to fish again. All the things the old folks tell us about sleep after sleep. But enough of this yearning. I'm not Hosier. I've got a desert to cross and a caravan to prepare. It's not gonna prepare itself. If only. <laughs> All right. Watch some coupon movie with girlfriend. What's the cu what's coupon movie? Coupon, coupon, coupon. Does that sound like something else? Coupon, coupon. It's a movie about, it's a movie about, uh, responsible budgeting. Oh, that's cute. Aw. Why are these lights still on? I thought this place was, like, derelict. I thought this was the homie Derek's place. But yeah, I, let me get back to what I was talking about earlier. So I went to a boxing class for the first time. On Friday, last Friday, what day would that have been? I don't know, like maybe the 19th. That's just my guess, I could be wrong. And honestly, if I am, doesn't matter. It's really unimportant. So there's no reason for me to talk about it this long other than frankly, just I guess filling time. Um, anyways, so I went to my first boxing class. First one's free, okay, that's how they get you. They're kind of like, that's not great. You can double jump in this game? Hell yeah. That's sick. Awesome. It's called Queen Pins. It's about a woman who like sets up this illegal secondhand coupon company. Oh, she's like those TLC ladies. Anyways, I went to a boxing class because I haven't been, frankly, I haven't been consistent enough about working out. And also when I work out, I, I like what I'm working out right before work. How the fuck did that work? What am I fucking Tom Brady? Touchdown! Because frankly, when I'm when I'm work when I'm working out, it's right before uh, class starts, aka I have to log on to work. So I don't have a lot of time, kind of have to rush through it, and also I'm not going to kick my own ass as hard. It's hard for me to push myself that hard, especially when I'm at my house. But when I go there, they kick my ass for me, and I pay for the pleasure. In some places, that's not illegal. No, that's not legal. Did I say illegal? I don't know. Anyways, it was great. It was awesome. My entire body is sore. I'm stuck, actually. Oh, okay. No longer stuck. That was strange. Problem is, um, I've got an issue with my wrist, my wristicle, which sucks. So I gotta take care of that before I can go consistently. So I gotta like probably go to an orthopedic. I think I might have like a hairline fracture or something. A couple months ago, um, my wrist has started hurting and it's not all the time. It's just it like at certain angles doing certain things and it comes out of nowhere. And it's not even super major, but I think it might be a hairline fracture. So I gotta go like take at least get it checked out, see what it is before I continue, because I don't want to, like, you know, punch so hard I'd literally break my own wrist. That would kind of, you know, put a damper on things. That would kind of kill a vibe. But I had a lot of fun, and so I want to go more. 
Everyone should do Pilates. That's a good... I agree. Pilates, yoga, it's all good. I mean, I can touch my toes, guys. You'll have to trust me on that, because you can't see it. But I did just touch my toes. Just saying. Anyways, it's it's all a part of the plan. You know, just trying to... Uh, God damn, my, I've got... The, I can hit any... Any throw. You guys think I can... Like, fly to those things? Like, this is a four-hour game, and I'm like... <laughs> not the way I play it. I can turn this into 12 hours, believe me. <laughs> nope. Alright, whatever. Maybe it's not meant to be. It's all part of, um... You know, as Kate Bush says... Getting up over that hill, getting over that hill, getting up that hill. However the song goes, I don't remember. If only I could make a deal with God, I get him to swap our places, be running up. It's about running up that hill. That's what it is. That's what it is. Honestly, getting into yoga is super easy because you just need a mat and then like a YouTube video. Because there's very, there's very like easy poses you can start with. Oh, I'm flying. Okay. Anyways, I... If I fall... Well, I'm not gonna fall, so... Um, yeah, I need to get my shit together. I need to, I need to get, you know, locked the hell in. In a way, I haven't. Gonna get to watch a movie. Have a great stream, my friend. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate you so much. Genuinely. Thank you. Hopefully, we will see you next time. Enjoy the movie. Tell your girlfriend I said hello. Tell your girlfriend the whole stream said hello. Tell your girlfriend that the whole stream typed in unison. Hello, I won't say her name. Goodbye. And like all the rest of the lyrics too. I'm sure you could like look them up before you tell her that. And don't clip this and show her that we didn't actually do it. The burden of proof is on you. Because I said so. Oh, oh. All right, little man. Get climbing. <gasps> Whoa. What's over here? Oh. So I can go to either one. Chat, which direction should we go? What do you think? Should we go into the mouth of the cave? Or should we go out here to what? What looks like that skinny building in New York City, that stupid ass apartment building that I I don't hope it falls over. I'm not gonna say that. However, it looks like it should fall over. I think we can all agree on that. The big building? I'm with you. Can I climb this? Guess not. <gasps> Whoa. This is cute, man. Who's that little guy? This looks like one of those creatures from Poor Things. <laughs> they just kind of like stick them together. Two animals. Oh, there's another one. That's probably his wife. Or her husband. Hey Bianca, you must have cast off for who knows where. I went back to the poster relay. Still no water. Surprise, surprise. Solly and Faz are still sorting through everything by hand and I've gotten roped into helping with deliveries. Me? On Pebbleback? That must be what they call like books because they ran out of paper so now they make like stone books. 
getting back to the basics, basically, where, where books all started with stone tablets. You can imagine what a sight that is. Even I'm laughing at myself. Still, why not, huh? It's a fresh start. I quite like seeing the world as the mail comes in. Well, it'd be nicer if this damn pebble would just change course when I ask it to. I'm telling you, it's stubborn. Worse than the old yom. Honestly, though, what a nightmare. Anyway, I'm gonna miss the tide at this rate. I left your mail by the door. All right. Hey, Bianca. <gasps> Damn. Dude, those things are not that easy to balance. He made that look easy. This makes me feel like we're playing as somebody who has, like, supernatural powers. Can I go down here? Mom, Phineas and Ferb aren't letting me go down here. Alright, whatever. Um, there was something back over this way, I think. There was like a way to go up this way, but maybe we should just go the- we'll just go the back way. Kind of a back way type guy anyways, so whatever. They are? I hope not. They're way too young. It'll give them. Br it'll ruin their brain development. <laughs> I was talking about something prior, um, and I can't quite remember. So I'm gonna start talking about something else, which is I finished East of Eden, the book, by Janiel Steinbeck. You may have heard of him. Kind of on the come up recently, kind of popped off after he died, people discovered his work. Kind of a Van Gogh type. Anyways, it's the best book I've ever read. I almost said best book I've ever written by accident. It's fantastic. I don't even really know how to describe how fantastic ads are going. So you don't really need to know how I described it because you might be watching an ad right now. Hey Bianca, how are things down there? I hear your boss sailed off into the horizon? Good riddance. Never liked that guy anyways. Things here at the hut are pretty quiet. How many people stop by these days? A seasonal job when there are no more seasons? I'm starting to get bored. <laughs> you can tell because I've started scratching letters. Tell me something to distract me, won't you? Oh, Eam. Whoa, like the loungers? I'm so glad to hear from you. Yeah, about as useful as a buoy on dry land. But no surprises there. You've been gone for a while, so maybe you don't know, but everything here is closed. Except for old Ennio's shop. He's still raising his chocos. Bassa tried to convince him to leave with him. Remember Bassa? The little terror at the back of the classroom? They got caught in quite a gale. It's amazing. No one's dared try again since. You think they're gonna keep you on if people stop coming by? You might be seeing more folks soon, though. I came across a classified ad. They're mounting an expedition to explore the crow's nest. I'd like that, but... Going off on an adventure with strangers? Ugh. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Ready for the clouds, huh? It sounds like quite something. I'll... I'll better stock the hold. I bet they'll come this way. You know what? You should join them. Come see me too. You don't have any excuses since you're out of a job. He 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 Coughing and sneezing and blowing my nose hurts so bad, my whole body, because I'm so sore. It would be a nice change from a few stray travelers to still come by. Hey, the other day another climber got stuck at Weeping Rock Pass. How'd you go fetch for him? Imagine that. If only you could have seen him there. Stupid enough to eat hay, as they say around here. Okay, it's settled. I'll be waiting for you. He's Mark Wahlberg now. No, 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 we don't want to read that. I hate reading, I hate reading. I'm not reading. Anyways, so I'm reading Meditations again for the second time now. After finishing up East of Eden. Because, like I mentioned earlier, I'm kind of in flux right now. And need to get my my little itty bitty baby shits together. Okay? Because they keep just kind of dropping on the floor and nobody likes baby shit, let's be honest. Um... 
And so part of that is, I think, like, at least... Where am I going? Oh, up. Ah. Part of that is that I think having a weekly thing to do that's, like, physical exercise will be very grounding and give me, like, the accomplishment feeling physically that you don't really get from, like, sitting down and streaming and then editing for hours and just, like, po Like, there's no, there's no actual... Uh, impact physically from that that you feel and I think that would that'll be motivating. Oh wait, is there a, is there a doohickey here? Guess not. So I think that'll ground my routine weekly and also as an important element jumping off from that aren't I supposed to be able to like hit C or V? Give them my CV? Okay, whatever. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna link onto that, and then it's still gonna fall. I'm gonna have to let go, and I'm gonna have to walk back up again to walk over it the next time. Guarantee it. You can take that to the bank. That's a post net promise. You can bet your life savings on it, because it's going to happen. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Nobody. Nobody's paying attention. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on everybody's second monitor right now. I'm finally leaving. Oh, logbook. Twelve octaves after the jacent. Finally leaving. I'm so happy. I couldn't sleep a wink. At the old harbor master's office, a note caught my eye. It sounded like poetry. Expedition to the clouds, seeking hope and water. Join us at twelve octaves. Back at all those five. I failed. The journey together. After spending so long marinating my chicken and trying to find meaning in life, it'll do me good to see the world. As Ian would say, hopefully we'll be stopping by a hut. Just the thought of seeing her again is enough to tell me I'm making the right decision. With any luck, there'll be other adventurers leaving from low tide. I don't want to make my way to the meeting point with the rest of the expedition all by myself. The only time I ever left here was for the harvest festivals, when I was a small fry, like Jake, my boy. So an expedition like this is no small matter. They want to set sail for the clouds. Oh no, my parents. Uh, fuck. Shh. I didn't even tell them I was leaving. And planning and plotting and scheming to go away for a long time and never see them again. What am I gonna do? Hey folks, I'm off on an adventure. See you around if and only if I make it back alive. Of course, Bianca dear. Don't forget to bring this. Of course, Bianca dear. Don't forget to bring snacks. Hmm. I'd better not say. Oh. Hmm. I'd better not say anything. And I should bring snacks. What else? What do people normally take on this type of trip? Probably a, like a, like a piss can, piss bottle. One thing's for sure. What's a journey without a logbook? I've got it covered. I plan to make like the expeditions that set off for the salt plain in search of the springs. I'm going to scatter my journal entries along the way for anyone who might come after us. Starting with this message. Farewell, my lighthouse. Oh, we're in a lighthouse. You welcomed me with wonder and have kept me company as I've pondered. Too much. You've always been there for me. I'm leaving you to the weave beaks who will watch over you from the sky. And to watch over this message, I'm leaving one of my creations, Adventure Calls. Maybe those are the little guys we saw. Maybe she made those. She's like God from poor things, not like from real life. What was I talking about? Anyways, yeah, so I, I, I got after it this weekend. And by this weekend, I mean specifically on Sunday and only Sunday. Um... Well, I mean, I had a productive Saturday, but more in, like, long-term thinking and getting, getting, you know, chenanned up, if you will. That's, I don't know why you would. That's, that was a bad way to describe that. But whatever, it is what it is. Is there no way to get up here? Oh. Silly me. Starting to feel a little tricks are for kidsy of me there. I'm trying to get my shit together, and uh, one of the problems I'm having, and I know this is going to sound very pretentious, but I don't care, because it's, it's true. It's true. Is, as in the last year, what, not what 
I wanted. Don't worry, I'll get to my point in a minute. In I'll get I'll get to it in a second, guys. You gotta give me a dance here. Maybe I'll just swing. Maybe I can just like s swag. Over the last year, as I've been watching more movies and TVs and reading more books and just kind of in general okay well that time i was too low gathering a larger appreciation for talented people and artists and like how they do what they do right i've just and i've started to just kind of really not respect a lot of just like YouTube content, online content, slop, crap, poop. And I kind of hate it, actually. And so it's cha it's had an impact on what I actually want to do when I stream and and just what I want to do in life in general as well. Um, and so I, I kind of went back to the drawing board on what I actually want to do. Nice. Both just in general, but also on stream. Um, to make it have meaning and feel like important to me and feel fulfilling. Um, and so I had a bunch of... God fucking damn it, dude. I should have placed a pit in. They were right. They were right. What if I just like really swing? So I decided, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I wasn't holding down the, the grab buttons. This is the worst, man. Grab, there you go, good boy. Good, good job. So I decided I'm gonna do a couple things. One is I'm going to do a study of both artists, so, f like, primarily filmmakers. And content creators that I really respect and that I like what they do. Nice. And just try and generally go from the beginning to the end, note what they do differently, how they learn, how their style develops, what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong maybe in the past or even now, how I can innovate on what they're doing and so specifically movie wise I think I'm gonna try and sit down and watch all of oh these are so cute I think I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna try and watch all of Christopher Nolan's movies from front to back from beginning to end see how it develops and then on top of that I'm not I'll, I'll read this in a second on top of that I'm also going to focus Sam, 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 Sam. Welcome to the fucking stream. Woman! Hello! Howdy, howdy. How's it going? Anyone know a Pamela Morgang? I don't. Nope. Never heard of her. Or him. Or they. How are you doing? Everybody, please, if you're still here alive and well, and listening to me wax poetic about my personal life, say hello to Sam, please. <laughs> Alright. And then I'll... I'll Continue what I was talking about after we read this. I asked Mo for help, but it's no use. The door won't budge. There's no way of knowing how its inner mechanisms work. Does that have anything to do with the lost ocean? Mo isn't much of a handyman either, but you'd think we'd be able to figure it out between the two of us. He had to weigh anchor. A date, he said. It's true, he did seem rather dressed up to tinker around. Rather perfumed, too. None of this answers my questions. I've explored you from deck to hold, and I'm no further along than when I started. I still don't know what you could have been used for, my lighthouse. Your paintings seem to allude to water falling from the sky, but it's pretty vague. Now, what am I supposed to do? They messaged me and were like, hey, how are you? Who are they? What's their, d hold on. Well, now I have to know. 
Is this like a verified? Instagram, they have 10,000 followers. They're a cooking person. Chef, author, event planner, cabaret star. Wait, aren't cabarets like strip clubs? On Twitch. Oh, and then they blocked you. Wait. Wait. I think that happened to me, actually. This happened to me recently. It was very strange. Maybe it's gone. It is gone. Okay, I got... Uh, I can't even remember. Maybe it was the same person, Pamela. That does actually sound familiar now that you say it. But I got a rant... And this was during my break. I only saw it, like, earlier this month. I got a whisper from somebody that just said, like, hey, can I ask you a question, I think was the message. It's not there now, so I can't, I can't see it. It was like, hey, can I ask you a question? And then I never saw it, and then they just blocked me before I got the chance. I, I had no idea who they were. Dude, that's fucking strange. Hold on. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can, I wonder if it was the same person. One follower. Is it underscore? Sam? I don't know. Is it, yeah, I, I think I do know what you're talking about, though, because I, th I think a similar thing did happen to me. I wonder if it's like a bot thing. I wonder if it's a new bot scam thing. You know, like how they have the sex bots on Instagram that periodically will just like like your story in like en mass and then instagram bans like a hundred million of them and then it stops for like a month and a half and then it starts again i wonder if it's something like that that's all i can think of you know i've played so much fortnite running through here i'm like looking for ammo boxes <laughs> okay so maybe we've reached the limit here it is it that is strange though yeah now that you say it though like something similar did happen to me okay let's get back to what i was speaking on Oh. Wait, is this the is this the loop from earlier? From the beginning? Cool. So I'm gonna watch all of Christopher Nolan's movies. And then from there, am I stuck again? Game's got a weird collision, man. That was okay. Alright. I'll get back to what I was talking about in a second. Wait, I thought that got Thanos dusted earlier. <gasps> Whoa! In this world where you play instruments, you turn blue? That only happens in our world if you do it too hard. So cute, dude. That's what I do to all my little guys, too. I look at them and I go, I acknowledge. Oh, and he likes the music. <gasps> Does that unlock like part of the map? <laughs> I'm gonna call him Boing. Cause he looks he looks bouncy. Boing. Dude, that's so adorable. Oh, we're bringing back the grass, baby! We're fixing climate change! We're gonna win the war on woke. We're gonna bring the grass back to the plains. Woke, Green New Deal. Chapter two, Migration. Is that a movie? 
that's like in theaters right now. An illumination movie. A minion movie. Oh, now we're climbing roots? Wait, does this mean I don't get to go? Oh no, I can slide back down up there. Never mind. You guys see how fast I can climb now? I'm a beast at this. By using tab, your companion will be able to see the next objectives as well as certain collectibles. Whoa, I've got Boing Vision? Dude, he's locked in too. Look at that little guy. Ah, okay, so, okay. Cool. All right, back to what I was speaking on. So to find inspiration, give myself a head start. This. I can. Um, okay. Uh, epic? I don't want to go that way yet because I actually wanted to go in here, but. Sick? Wait, what, you... what the hell are you doing, man? Oh, there's nothing there. Well, that's fortunate. So I'm gonna, I'm also, two of the creators that I think I respect most would be Jerma, which is kind of obvious. Oh, who are those little guys? And Donkey. And so now it's gonna be the part of the stream where I defend being a copycat. Not a plagiarist, but a copy. Oh, I love when that happens. Not plagiarizing, but copycatting. Because I like what they do and I respect how they do it. I also respect that they haven't felt the need to just like go off stupid style and hire a bunch of editors and make a corporation and fucking like grow the thing out and like become a brand more than a person. Where? Are what the heck is going? Am I locked up again? Yeah, I was. And so try to emulate and then innovate on what they do, kind of. Lynn's gone to the heights to ask to extend the site. With the boss gone, the wind's gone out of our sails when it comes to digging. It's not such a bad thing. Lifting boxes, crates, and barrels is my area of expertise. But shifting their old stones? At the slightest pitch and roll, everyone's knees start quaking. Anyway, I'm just getting used to the idea of working with archaeologists. Make myself useful again. And already the work's dried up. I doubt it'll start up again, and I'll see how we can move forward. How about you? How are things in low tide? Is Didi still refusing to go to school? My love, I'm happy to hear from you. We miss you so much, Dee says. I'm homeschooling her, and I'm very much out of my depth. Do you remember the names of all the regions of the tower? I don't even remember learning that. I gave Dee a homework assignment about the old altar to keep her busy for a while. She's supposed to copy the design. I ended up going with her. It'd been ages since I'd last ventured behind the village. I'd forgotten how dark it is. You know Dee, she's gutsy. She's enjoying diving into the past, just like you. Speaking of which, have your archeologists found, fi finally found how <laughs> tides work? They've been digging for a while now. Get up. You know when you'll be able to come back up here? No response. I wonder if he died. Oh, I can't go back there. If I go the wrong way, the game punishes me and makes me stand still for longer than I would like to. Okay, so I should have gone here first. What a- Oh, I love those little things. My favorite part of the game. Anyway, so with all that, I'm basically getting to the point of... Reassessing my goals, what I want to do in life, what I want to accomplish, what I like doing. Um, yada yada, so on and so forth. Uh... And then just trying to go from there and create something, create things I'm proud of. I want to start writing. I'm going to start trying to journal on a daily basis. Just 
talk about what happened in my day. And then on top of that, I reach over here. Nice. And then on top of that, what was her on top? Oh yeah, write a small short story every day. Nothing serious, it could even just be like a paragraph. It could be r slash two sentence horror style. Oh, this is an easy one. They're like, we want you to be able to climb this one easily. Now though, you're on your own. Good luck, Chuck. That's what I would have said if I was Saul Goodman. I mean, Jimmy. Like, multiple seasons before he did. Oh. Okay, so let's put one of these here. And then I guess I gotta jump. Oh. That was easier. I thought I was gonna have to jump and then, you know, do some... F do some flinging and flamming, but I guess not. What's in here? Gold? Jewels? Various luxuries? This looks like there's- this looks like a bonfire room. A Souls game. Oh, he's right. What does that mean? It's pretty. Is this hole here? Is that where they drop the dead birds? Yeah. You know, standing up when I stream like this, it really makes me feel like maybe I actually am climbing. Like, I'm climbing up this mountain, too. My legs are fucking killing me. This game in VR would get make me... I'd- uh, no. I'd throw the fuck up. <laughs> I don't think this game in VR would do good for things for me. Is there something down here? Oh, I guess not. Alright, rest it up. Upsy-daisy. You got such little arms and hands for such a proficient climber. Nice, beautiful work. Beautiful work. Reese! Hey! How's it going? Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How's your night going? Everybody, please say hello. Long time no see. Dude, I- Boing is so cute. I don't care if the game calls him my Echo. That's Boing. So good. So good. So good. How are you? Bow, bow, bow. Oh! Folks, we're growing grass. Right here, I drove into the cities today. Ooh, what for? Sounds fun. You get up to any uh, activities? Anything silly, anything goofy? Oopsie. Let's rest here and maybe put down a, a, a python. Got a plastic surgeon for a console. Congratulations, I hope it went well. That's awesome. Really happy for you. Do you like the, uh, did you like the doctor? Feel comfortable and everything?
Jinky Scoob. Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. Jumping or double jumping allows you to go higher without being attached to anything. Yeah, I know. Fine, I'll go over there, I'll go over there. <laughs> Yes, she was great. I'm getting a mole on my face removed. 2024, all about baby steps towards a new me. Congratulations. Awesome to hear. But I've been talking about actually on, uh, for most of this stream so far. Is we're just climbing up a mountain. We're getting over that hill, if you will. And, um, yeah, just talking about how I'm trying to approach 2024 to, uh, have better outcomes than in 2023, which ultimately I didn't think had bad outcomes, but I think we can improve. We can always improve. Speaking of improving, one thing I want to learn how to do, and I don't think I'll be able to in 2024, I think I'm going to be too busy with other things like boxing, as I discussed earlier, is learn to play guitar. I think it'd be fun. I don't know how to play any instruments, and I would like to. I think that'd be a really cool thing to do. So I'm not there yet, and who knows when I will be. But hopefully at some point, it's a goal of mine. Oh, what's up here? Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh! Kind of gross, honestly. Coming out of the wall like that. Eh. Alright, let's, let's get... Let's get on with it. Oh, I'm stuck again. Now I'm unstuck. Now we can get on with it officially. It's official, guys. We're getting on with it. Going the wrong way, beast. All right. Really really moving those arms oh I okay I went to the wrong place I had an oopsie I had an oopsie didn't want to didn't want to grab on there huh There we go. Okay. Let's get some rest in. Um, we could go up that way. I, okay, I think that's probably the way we gotta go. So let's check out what's over yonder. Right? Sound good to you guys? God damn it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Whatever, whatever, we got it. We got it. I'll get it on this one. I think Miley Cyrus said something insightful about what we're doing here. You know? <laughs> hey, Auntie Hoshel. You know, one of your one of your homies is here. You should say hi. Nothing happening over here. Yeah, Reese is here. 
And they went into the Twin Cities today, too. Although, it seems like maybe they've dipped. I don't know. Oh, there they are. Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> True. In November. Oh, I'm stuck again. I'm like falling through the world. Okay. That, that seems to fix it, I guess. Not a stupid ass boy. I hate those though, dude. Duh. <laughs> Can they at least be, like, semi-intelligent? Would that be allowed? Or is that a no-no? That's strange. This... What is the way? That's not gonna work. Guys, we've got an obstacle in our path. And by that I mean we have no direction. Maybe some of you have no direction. Fucking get some, what's your problem? Okay, get your shit together, idiot. Clown. Oh, I don't know what to do. All right, well then sit down and like come up with an idea. There's a stone thing there, so I'm just going to try and see if I can land on this. Why am I rocking back and forth like I'm actually here? Why am I doing that? I'm still doing it. Okay. Woo! Oh, it won't let me. This one, this one, this is the one. We did it, Reddit. Oh, his head. All right. First try, baby. He's over here collecting reputation songs. What does that mean? He listed, listened to Speak Now TV in 1989 TV with me on release. I think it would be funny if she just made, like, actually made, like, a TV channel for them. You know, or like she streamed them on Twitch. <laughs> That's what she should do. If she was really in touch. Okay. <sighs> if there's one thing I learned from Oppenheimer, it's not about can you read the music and you see it and you hear the music. And, um, I couldn't hear the music looking this way. I could only hear it this way. So I'm assuming we gotta go back that way. What the hell's going on here? Oh, okay, there we go. Rep songs equals love songs? I thought reputation was like the opposite of that. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Careful. You know, it really feels like I gotta go through this door. 
Really, really feels like that. I'll go this way this time, I guess. Well, that's not gonna do me any good. London by then by I am too good for you that's the truth that I think in my head when I drink that's not gonna work you know this kind of is just uncharted for climbing it's like Iterated on a little bit, but it's not too far off the off of that. Can I can you grab? What's your problem, man? What uh, what, you allergic to handholds now? Come on. Maybe I need to swing over there. I think that's what I have to do. I think I got it. Because I definitely, like, there's nothing I can do here. So let's... Like this. Whoa. Oh, I already climbed up all this. Never, never mind. <laughs> I'm starting to get sleepy eepy. Oh, I just- I cracked the code. I need to do this. But, like... Uh, <laughs> over there. I cracked it, guys. Not to smoke my own pipe too much, but... I think I cracked it. Hey, nameless, uh, and, uh, protagonist. Thank you. That didn't work. That sucks. All right, let's do this. Check it out, guys. Watch us. Watch us. Watch us. Big, big moves gonna happen. Not quite. Need a little more rope. Woo! Yes, dude. Continuing to jump, stupid! Stop! Don't jump multiple times! Grab the fucking. You piece of shit, man.
do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Little man. They said he couldn't do it. That's what they said. But he did it either way. Regardless of what they said. <gasps> oh, hey, boing. Boing, boing. Is he rolling around on his back? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Oh, I didn't want to go up. Okay. All right. What do you guys think of this game? I'm curious. I need to know. I don't want to go up here yet. Is it entertaining to watch on stream? Is it zen? Is it, am I providing good second monitor content? I want to see everything going on here. Fun little game I'm enjoying watching. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Good, good, good. Auntie Ida, you have to talk to them. I want to go on an expedition to the desert too. Everyone always says I'm too young. I don't care. Neil's going, and he's only a bit bigger than me. Plus, he's mean. I have to stay at the poor cavern, stinky old seaweed, and doing my homework. I bet cleaning the canals with you would be more fun. I want to see what else is out there. But my parents never let me leave the village. Can you talk to them, please? Ha! Oh dear. Believe me, sweetie. You wouldn't have much fun scraping the pipes of the Great Basin. That's for sure. Do I enjoy this game? Yeah, I do. I'm enjoying it a lot, actually. It's nice. It's like, uh, it's like Celeste, but not difficult at all. And also, not an explicit allegory for, uh, transitioning in the way that Celeste is. But it's similar in that you're- it's still overcoming that mountain, you know? The climbing analogy still tracks. You won't like what I'm about to say, but be patient. You have plenty of time to grow up. Chat, this is for you too. We'll be sailing off to the plane soon enough. Sorry to have to tell you this though. We have no choice but to go with your parents. So best not to quarrel with them in the meantime. I don't fancy crossing the plane with the three scowling faces. Your favorite auntie. This is like, this is like a self-help book in game form, almost, and less explicit. Moving sail, carabiners, fish hooks, sound shells, to give away or swap for precisions. Repairs and mending. Nets, harnesses, bubble stitch, sand stitch, any type of knitting, ask for any o. Any o knitting. Lost. Medallion. Shiny and round. It's not valuable, but I'm sad it's gone. Reward cake. Job wanted. Housework and pebble sitting, Chaco sitting and babysitting, accepting all vertical work, renovating, decorating, drywalling, volunteers wanted for expedition to the clouds, seeking hope and water, join us at 12 octaves, Becca and Arlo's farm, Highfield, to journey together, beware of heat stroke. Pebble shuttle service to Fumarolia Oasis, can bring small bundles, letters, packages, no animals. Damn, dude. You can, like, feel as, like, they felt, you know, the desperation as their uh, way of life was basically getting fucked. Rough. Okay, I think this looks like a secondary. It wasn't a secondary, it turns out. This is the... the uh, turns out, guys, this is the way. So let's go this way first, because...
There's something over here too. This octave, we are celebrating the safe return of Expedition 34 to the port. The expedition was led by Cory, who once again braved a horizontal world. We're proud to welcome these children of low tide who are returning with priceless treasure back among us. Members of Expedition 34, descendants of the celebrated her, Iga and Ime, were the first to venture out of the Great Plain in search of the Lost Ocean, walked further than ever before, and were finally able to find a new spring after numerous failed expeditions. A fresh start for many villagers who have been waiting their turn since the furnaces and fumarolio has hit their population limits. Welcome reception will be held next sleep. The collective of former expeditionaries has made its best seaweed pie. Bring your own beverages. <laughs> nice. So we went and saw, wait, what is this say? Relegazette, oh, editorial. In this issue, we'll be taking a look at the creature that gave this near cyclical publication its name, Brellas. Well, they've come up before in our issues on endangered tunnel wildlife and our special edition, Inhabitants of Great Reservoir. We've never dedicated an entire section to them. High time we rectified that. Brellas are best known for their slow and majestic flight. However, they begin their lives clinging to rocks. In the first stage of their life cycle, they resemble flowers known as shrinklets. From within the shrinklets... From within the shrinklets come sparks, small glowing creatures that fly through the darkness of the caves and tunnels in groups. How many octaves does it take for a spark to grow into a brella? How long do brellas live? Has anyone ever seen one die? Guys, if you're, if you're, you know, still listening, take a look over here real quick. I had a friend join me. He's been bugging me at my feet for a minute. Much has been forgotten about Brellas, despite them being witnesses to the tower's ancient past. At the time of writing, they've almost completely disappeared. We only know about sparks from children's stories. They're said to kidnap naughty children, and shrinklet sightings are exceptionally rare. Only occurring in the remotest tunnels. The following pages, we've attempted to piece together some facts about them. Pluto, you're so cute. Good girl. Did you know? Based on the information we've gathered from the team of water surveyors, who sometimes encounter these creatures on their maintenance rounds, and who we are very grateful to, being near sparks makes you feel weightless. So be sure to behave yourself, kids. Let's hope that the drop in activity in recent cycles will give shrinklets, sparks, umbrellas the peace, quiet, and space they need to thrive. Can I put you down? Hey, sweet. There she goes. <sighs> Desperate for attention as always. Not so different from you and I. So we went to the movies yesterday, guys, and saw Queen Rock Montreal. The band Queen. It's a concert movie, and they rocked Montreal. Let me tell you, they fucking rocked Montreal. She does love me. I know, she's a good girl. She needed some attention. It had been too long. She'd been deprived for how long I've been streaming for? Just under two hours. That's... Way too fucking long for her to go. Oh, what's that? I'm gonna be honest. I've always liked Queen, but like... They fucking shred, dude. I'm very glad I got to see that, because it, it really did feel like going to a Queen concert. And as much, you know, as much as it can in a, in a movie theater. But it was in IMAX. It was huge. It was in 4K, like, remastered footage. And it was Freddie Mercury, not whatever clown they had previously. Oh! This is pretty. I thought it was a fish. I was like, how are you swimming? It's air. It does put their hype into perspective. You're right. It was fucking awesome. Well, that didn't... That didn't line up how I would have liked it. Oh! Wait, now we're lined up.
Oh, and then it, oh, okay, I see. So it just, okay, ready? Look at this, guys. But yeah, they, they melted my goddamn face off. Exactly the way I wanted them to. Check out what's going on up here. Anyways, I think it was for one weekend only, but if it's not and you get the opportunity, you should go. It rocked. Also, it was only 90 minutes. It was not, like... I didn't see the Eras Tour movie, um, but it was three hours long. That's a long concert movie. 90 minutes. In and out. It was a quick one. There are some genuinely fantastic shots, too. <gasps> Whoa! Terrestrial Seagull's family. Logbook. 12 octaves and one prime after the jacent. Usually, just getting a low tide from my light old lighthouse is an expedition for me. It's hard to believe that this time, the adventure is just getting started. At the meeting point, I found myself waiting with Met, a young woman from these parts. Go Mets, baby. A lot of fucking Mets. Go Mets. Well, young. Younger than me, anyways. Her parents have already left. Like other people our age, she wanted to stay. That made ripples with the older generation. Goddamn boomers. Leaving the family nest is no easy thing. I don't know Met well, but we already have something in common. The widening gap between us and our parents. Team relieved to see me. For once, I was lost for words. Smiling awkwardly and still red from the exertion of getting there, my pack all undone and my hair sticking up every which way, probably. Nice one, Bianca. Not socially awkward at all. I was just as relieved as she was to know I wouldn't be setting sail alone. To my surprise, old soul joined us too. Like the sun? The sun is here? Ads are going to start in uh, about four minutes, by the way, just so you guys know. Uh, where was I? Uh, I don't think we'd exchange a single word before now. Will an old schooner, schooner like him be able to keep up? Ever since I was little, soul's always been the old hermit who lives up on high. He used to scare me. He would come down from the port sometimes, like a spider sliding down a silk thread. The other kids and I would have fun running away, screaming at the sight of him. Even now, my knees start quaking as I saw him lumbering towards me. We set off as a group of three. No one else came to join our crew. I soon realized I'd been worried for nothing. Soul leads the way. An odd figure with nimble feet who climbs the cliffs with amazing ease. Met follows behind, brimming with energy. Suddenly, I feel like the old one. Like the old one like gods? Or like the old one among all of these people? Probably the, probably that second one. <laughs> Scared me. Whew. Another little thingy. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the audio is also incredible. I, I think it was like entirely remastered audio for the for the original concert. It's okay. I just thought something fell over. Don't worry about it. You think if I just like jump? No. Alright, so before I go that way, because that's the way I gotta go, let me check out what's going on down there. And then... Baby? Oops. He's fine. Don't worry about him. I just like making my little boing boing happy. He's a good guy. A good little, a little man. Okay. So I can't go in there. I need to climb up. Yeah, that thing. Clearly. Oh, here we go. Here's Met. You'll probably laugh at what I'm about to say, but I wish I were a Choco. Nothing to do but be round, fluffy, and cute. The whole sleep lo- the, the whole sleep long, no job and no existential crisis about the future. It'd be more relaxing and going door to door, but someone has to bring the old folks water. And I never would have believed it, but I've grown fond of them. Remember old Coco? She made me listen to and dust off her shell collection. She's as deaf as a post. I'm not deaf. Dude, what the hell? I'm not even deaf. Flipstrip, welcome to the stream, brother. Good to see you. How's it going? How's your night going? Just cleared this game a few weeks ago. It's... Very relaxing. Unfortunately, I wanted to play it with a controller and it refuses to let me do that. 
Even though my controller's fine, it's, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's strange. Um, but yeah, I'm having fun. It's very zen. It's very relaxing. All right, let's, let's continue on here. What, uh, 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 her shell collection. She's deaf as a post. Someone should listen to them once in a while, she said. One of the shells almost crumbled to dust. They miss the ocean just like we do. I'm chilling. We're setting up characters for Star Wars D&D. Cool. I'm playing. The only D&D related thing I can connect to on that is I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3, which is fucking sick. Yeah, I'm playing it on Game Pass, and I think it might be a Game Pass issue that I haven't been able to figure out. We are? For the checkers? Are they doing a Star Wars night? Things any better for your family? Are they still upset? No need to tell me if it's too difficult to talk about. I may not be there to support you, but I'm sending waves your way. No, you're not. There's no waves left, guy. Ah ha, ah ha, ah ha, ah ha, Still, I admire you. I definitely wouldn't have had the patience. Things with my parents are still choppy. They let the ocean disappear, but they don't want to understand what happened. We're not responsible, they always say. They've left for the Cauldron's Oasis. They'd requested the furnaces so they could join some friends of theirs, but spots there are hard to come by. At least things have calmed down for me since they left. I feel as light as can be. Maybe I should go on a trip too. Does that make you think of any, is there any real world, you know, connections there you can make to that, that sentence? That's crazy. That's crazy. Things with my parents are still choppy. They let the ocean disappear, but they don't want to understand what happened. We are not responsible, they always say. And then they left. They left to go move to a resort in Florida, basically. <laughs> okay, well, good to know, I guess. Hey, we're going to Star Wars hockey. Clip strip. Oh, there's, there's ads playing. He might not have heard that. Um, that sounds cool. Do they use lightsabers instead of sticks? All right, all right, all right. Let's get let's let's get back on task. Focus, focus, focus. Hey, grab onto something. The hell? Did I not get up this way? Oh, oh. Can I, are these really not foldable? Maybe I can Tom Brady this one. Maybe if I get a little closer on these stairs. It's okay, you don't have to apologize. Oh guys, another cool ass G ass thing I did today. Oh, I think I know how this will work. I, I do know how it'll work. Okay. Another cool G ass A B C D E F G thing I did today was Um I needed to I've been needing to clean out my photo library on my phone for literal years at this point. I have like over sixteen thousand photos and videos. And most of it's just screenshots of bullshit, like work schedules homework, whatever, just crap I don't need, old outdated memes that I've forgotten about. So I basically spent the entire fucking day today, no, no joke, like almost the entire work day, going through my photo library and just deleting old shit. So I had to relive all sorts of crappy experiences, um, which was, you know, fun and dandy. <laughs> um... Fuck, and there was a point to this, and I can't remember what it was, but maybe it'll come back to me as I continue explaining. So, all in all, I deleted over 9,000 photos and videos today. Hell yeah, I didn't even need... I didn't even need to do that, get the, get the root out, you know? Yeah, over 9,000, Sparker. Thank you for, thank you for chiming in. 
I'm glad that's I'm glad that's we got you back in chat. <laughs> Yeah, over 9,000 different uh, things I deleted. That's why, like, I sent you that uh, those pictures today. It was because I found them while I was going through my, my shit. Dude, I love, I love when you guys use the emotes. Seeing my stupid face. Whoa. Oh, I don't like this. This makes me... <laughs> this makes me very, very... That was weird. Man, what the hell? Oops. There we go. Oh, what did that do? What if it was blue? And then it was. Is there like <laughs> any other reason to be in here? Oh, oh. But yeah, so I still have, um, surprised you're not playing power like every other streamer on here today. Ron Covenant, welcome. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Um, I actually, so I was gonna talk about Pal World earlier, but then I brought it up and chat was kind of dead at that point and nothing really happened. So I just kind of let the topic drop. But let's talk about Pal World. Um, I, apparently it's like controversial for some people. I don't really give a shit about any of that nerds okay arguing about video games fucking losers doesn't matter uh what i do give a shit about is the fact that i watched one stream i can i not go back this way oh man fucking sucks i watched force and play it briefly and i never watched force and i just like went to power world to see what it was about and he was like one of the top people and i recognized him so i clicked on it it is a long time no see, but that's okay. Everybody comes and goes, waxes and wanes. Or I'm happy to see you now. Happy you're here. Hope you had a good. I hope you had a good day. You know, what you been up to? Um. Anyways, let's get back to Power World though. I'm so fucking sick. Every game. Every game is survival game with crafting elements with some other bullshit thrown on top now, and I'm fucking sick of every single game like that. And from what I saw, Power World just looks like survival crafting with Pokemon ripoff. And also there's guns. And like, you can play with friends. I guess if you really like Pokemon, that's cool, but I don't give a shit about Pokemon and haven't for years. One, because I wasn't allowed to play it growing up. So I don't have that childhood nostalgia factor. Um, I did still play it sometimes sneakily. Don't tell my parents, even though I'm a grown ass man. You could tell my parents, I don't, I don't care. What are they gonna do? Um, they burn my house down. Uh, so I don't really care about Pokemon, and it just looked like a really generic crafting game, so... I don't know. Also, so I was still willing to give it a try, but one, I really want to focus on games that I actually really want to play, and this is one that because I've seen so many, like, YouTubers who, who do, like, video game content talk about it in their end of year list, etc. Wanted to give it a try, right? Um, so that combined with the fact that Pow World has what, like 400,000 people watching in that category right now. And frankly, that's too many people for a little, a little streamer boy like me. Oh, there's one of those little things again. I just want to kick it so bad with my foot. I feel like it would fly like a fucking, like a football. Does that make sense? You guys see my perspective? I don't know, have you guys played it? What do you guys think? The Pokeballs are called PAL spheres? Are you serious? That's a joke. No, dude, that's not real. No, 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 you're lying to me. 
I love the power world. Galactic Hot Dog, I know. I'm surprised you are able to... I'm surprised you were able to come out of your focus and actually hear me talking about it on your second monitor to zoom back in. Probably just because I said power world and your, you know, CIA trigger word. Fuck it, activated. They're called PAL spheres? Shut the fuck up, dude. That's not real. I hate Pokemon primarily because I hate how fucking lazy Game uh, game Freak is with Pokemon and how, how little they have capitalized on the potential of the mega series that they have, right? But like, Loki, that's obnoxious as fuck. Game Freak should sue them. <laughs> Game Freak should sue them, not because I, it's, like, the right or the wrong thing to do, because, like, who gives a shit about that, okay? It's the internet. Um, but because it would be really funny. Because already, some of the animals are straight-up rip-offs of Pokemon, like, almost to the T. Dude, I don't have very good Pokemon knowledge, like, at all, because I didn't really play it much. I just know, like, the popular ones, right? But, like, from what I've seen, they don't even look like rip-offs, they just look like Pokemon. Like, there's- I don't know their names, but I was watching, like, a trailer, seeing screenshots or something, and I was like, that's, like, an actual Pokemon, right? They just, like, literally stole that from Pokemon. It is hilarious to think about. There's one Pokemon in it that its description is it was used to perform executions by ripping people's skin off. Okay, that's badass. I don't think, um, I'm taking my socks off because it's bothering the hair on my feet, which I understand is an insane thing to say, but sorry. It's, it's life, okay? Get used to it. Things aren't, things aren't always pretty. Um, that's wild. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't speak to me. Uh, Galactic Hot Dog here has been grinding it like crazy, though. That's all he's done. He's ignoring all my messages. He's, he's not been telling me goodnight and giving me sweet, you know, whisperings in my ear to help me fall asleep. Just... Just, just pow world all the time. Doesn't even care about his friends. Just forgets about them. Ignores their messages, their calls for help, their cries, their pleas, and just plays pow world. That's true. You did tell me good night <laughs> after I was already asleep. What do you think about that? I gotta say, the uh, the vibes per 36 on this game are astronomically high. They're great. So credit to them for sure on that, because that's sick. Yeah, Galactic Hot Dog, this one's for you. Right foot creep, ooh, walking with that heater, yeah. I think this is getting off topic, but it doesn't matter. It's my stream, and well, that's all we do is get off topic. This this stream should be called off topic. Thank you. I think Drake should do the ad libs for every rap song ever. And by ad libs, I don't mean he should come up with new ones. I mean he should literally just do his like fruity little, yeah, on every hip-hop song that is released from now until the heat death of the universe. It makes me laugh literally every single time I've, I hear it. There's never been a single time it hasn't. It's so funny. Yeah. I just shit my pants. Yeah, yeah. Now I sit down, scoop it out my undies. Yeah, yeah. It's dripping down my leg. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry. My bad. What the hell is this about? Whee! I think I, I think this is, I think this is a bonus meme. Let's, hey! Take me back over there. Yeah, so I guess that's how I feel about Pal World. Sorry guys, I'm not super jazzed about it. I'm, if you guys are having fun with it, I'm happy. I, I've seen a lot of people who are like, their plagiarism or like, we should cancel, we should like, I don't know, like send a bomb threat to their office because like, they may have used AI art in the 2D sprites that they then made 3D textures of or something. 
fucking, like, you get a grip. Okay, people? I don't care about those people. Oh, I didn't talk about the guy who was late to the movie. I'll do that after I read this. Pardon me, but I've noticed I've stopped receiving my newspaper. Is there anything I should do? Could this be an oversight on your part? While I'm at it, I should mention I really enjoyed your article on the Coco Show. Oh, the Choco Show. Sorry, it's, a ch it's chocolate themed, not vanilla. As you know, there isn't enough water left for the postal relays to function and too few pebbles available to deliver the paper in good conditions. Because of this, the voice of the Ravine's team has decided to cease publication. Although our desire to inform our readers is stronger than ever, we haven't yet decided what form our daily paper will take in light of this new situation. Thanks for your feedback on the show. I've always enjoyed covering that event. Let's hope we get an opportunity to discuss it again one day when there's no water. Everything seems so fragile, doesn't it? Anyways, the guy that showed up late to the movie, first of all, if you weren't here earlier, we went and saw Queen Rock Montreal. It's a concert movie. 90 minutes of the Queen. A Queen. Fuck the Queen. I'm glad she's dead. Uh, Queen, the rock band, of which I'm not very happy that their lead passed away, um, rocked Montreal. It's a very, very literal title. Is that all that's here? Okay. Anyway, so we're in there. We get settled. The movie had probably been started for about 20 minutes. It's not a very, it's not a very packed theater, like at all. Not very many people there. It's 8:30 p.m. Sunday night showing. Mall closes at six, so usually the Sunday night ones are pretty dead. You know, it's a, it's a good one if you want a quiet movie. This guy shows up like 20 minutes late. Walks in. Sits down. He's got a huge sodi, mega sodi. You could even go so far as to say. And oh my god! Like before his ass had hit the seat, he had his phone out, full brightness, big phone in mood. And like I didn't really care that much. This was more just this was just bonus memes because uh, the movie theater was so empty. He's on the other side of the theater too, so it's not that distracting. Right? He sits down. And then for like the entire movie though, he's just sitting there scrolling his phone. Like not even watching the concert. Like he literally went to an IMAX concert movie of Queen for second monitor content. He was like, you know, fuck scrolling my phone on the couch in front of the TV or a computer monitor with a YouTube video playing. That's not good enough, dude. I, I'm no longer satisfied unless I get an IMAX screen in front of me and the loudest speakers that money can buy. And that's what he did the entire time. He just sat there oh, on that damn phone, always with the phone, and uh, like did not look at the movie once. It was kind of hilarious. Pretty. I've never seen so many people coming down from the heights. And some are stopping in low tide. Maybe my situation's not so hopeless after all. The ocean provides for a patient heart, as my mother used to say. But now she's dead. Maybe I'll finally manage to meet someone. It's been slim pickings here. Apart from old Yom, maybe. He makes my heart flip with his dimples, calloused hands, and that plaid shirt he always wears. Are these people all like 40-year-old brewery attendees? Yum? The baker? I hope you're joking. I can never tell when you're yanking my chain. When you, I can never tell when you're jerking my cock. Anyway, I'm leaving the tower too. Sorry, Bassa. I don't know how else to tell you. Wish we could clip our carabiners together like we used to. Or running around on the old pier. Wish I could convince you to come with me, but that's how it is. I'm crewing up with the neighboring village. They found me a spot on one of their pebbles. We'll see each other again somewhere down on the plane, won't we? Don't be angry with me. I'll miss your letters. Damn, dude. Like, watching the relationships fall apart in real time. This is sad. It's a sad game. Like, their whole way of life just fell apart. 
And it was, it seems like it was all ruined for them by their, by the boomers. What's new? What an allegory. I clipped off that one, but whatever. This is how I poop it. This is how I poop it. La -da 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 -la -da -da. Okay. Now, oh, that's what. Oh, big view coming, big view coming. <gasps> I've seen view. Wow. Well, we're high up now. Everything's orange now instead of blue. We've entered the orange world. Dude, Boing is so cute. That's the best part of this game. Easily, without a shadow of a doubt. Honestly, I need you guys to be honest. Everybody who's everybody who's not tapped in, how world, what words do I need to say? Are you listening? Everybody, please listen. We This is a good stopping point. So I'm curious, are we still interested? Or should I just end the stream here a little bit early, like half an hour early? What do we think, stinkies? What's it gonna be? We're asking everyone for their opinion on the matter. They're saying, and they're saying, and most importantly, they're saying. <laughs> all right, another logbook. This is an adventure, all right. I mean, fine, we've only just gotten started, but we still haven't straight off the beaten path. But for me, this is yosh. I can't wipe the smile off my face. I think I needed this to feel the rocks under my hands, to experience something out of the ordinary, to move. You can know my companions better, though our chit chat mainly revolves around which route to take to join the expedition. Matt and Soul are already getting along like a house on fire. I like that. That's a that's a nice little turn of phrase. Whatever you decide, I'm happy to agree with. Fair enough. Okay. They can probably hear us laughing all the way down on the salt plain. By embarking on this journey... This music is so Oppenheimer core. Me when I hear a violin. <laughs> Saul wants to try to return to the world of yesterday and Matt wants to save the world of tomorrow. As for me, if I can just make it to the meeting point alive, I'll be happy. I never dared leave my home before now. Well, leave for real, without my parents. But I dreamed about it. Having incredible adventures, finding a new port to call home, anywhere but low tide. I never really felt like I belonged there. I didn't try hard enough, spent too much time dreaming of far off places. But what is there for me back in low tide, apart from empty houses and questions without answers? It was high time to give something else a try. For me and Met, climbing is usually something we do when we have no other choice. To say we hesitate each time we have to launch ourselves into the open ear, ear, the open air, with only our rope securing us is an understatement, but we encourage and belay each other. For Soul, it's a different story. Off topic, I brought in a meal box, but I couldn't unload it. Okay, thank you for telling me. For Soul, it's a different story. He sets the route with incredible ease. He tells us about how he used to climb as a kid to gather seaweed with his parents. That was before the descent. Another era. Since then, he's seen the drought slowly transform the tower into a desert. Soul reminds me of the sailors from the stories you sometimes hear. The ones who can't get used to the inertia of the tower after spending their entire lives on the waves. Soul himself is definitely ungainly when it comes to walking, which terrified us as kids. But when he climbs, he's as nimble as a sar I tried to carve. What do I want to do? Whoa, there's smoke. Ooh! Do you think that smoke that would lead me to a delicious pie cooling on a windowsill? Okay, that's our next objective. That's kind of far. Maybe we should... Maybe we should wrap it up.
What if I, um... <laughs> I couldn't really do this, actually, because my door would be in the way literally every time I opened it. But what if I... <laughs> But my, because my green screen's not big enough to cover the whole thing. That's why I didn't end up setting it up here. But what if I set up my green screen just in front of the closet door? Because that's like kind of off to the side, you know? And usually it's just kind of over there. And then I could just have like, I don't know, hell burning or like a club environment just like play. <laughs> I think that's too much work and I'd have to literally set it up and take it down for every stream. But... It's a funny idea. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Hopefully next time, um, maybe we'll be able to play. Maybe I'll have it figured out and we can play with controller. Uh, I hope you like this game. I enjoyed it. It's very zen. It was very nice to just chat. Uh, Galactic Hot Dog, Ron Covenant, uh, Steez, Seti, everybody else who is here, Reese, uh, Blueberry Buttlick. What a great name, by the way. Um, who else am I forgetting? I know Mountain Visions, I'm sure, is here. Sparker. Guys, thank you. Anybody I'm forgetting, I apologize. You know I'm only forgetting you because I'm stupid. Uh, not because I actually forgot. I just have 60 IQ. <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining. It's been real. It's been fun. And most importantly, um, it's been real fun. If you don't follow the account, you're welcome to do so. Please go ahead and smash that follow button. <laughs> Uh, all my socials and stuff are down there. Uh, join the Discord, most importantly. Somebody can put it in chat real quick. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Love you. I'll be back on Monday. Oh, clip strip. I don't know if I said you specifically, but goodbye to YouTube. Goodbye.